Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am excited to share some of my favorite lip combinations with you. I have some lipsticks, I have some lip liners, I have some glosses. This is gonna be a really exciting video. It is a collaboration. I am happy to tell you all about it. If you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking, I love makeup, I love talking about makeup. So if you like to chat about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe. But why don't we go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so we know that this is a lip combination video, but I also told you that this was an exciting video because it is a collaboration. And today I am collaborating with my dear friend, Samantha March here on YouTube. Sam was my very first YouTube friend, my first friend in this social media space. I've talked about that before in videos. We kind of started around the same time. I think she started a little bit before me. We found a friendship on Instagram. We realized we both had YouTube channels and we've just been supporting each other ever since. But this video, this specific video, is exciting because on March 21st of 2016, Sam and I did a collaboration where we were talking about our top lip picks for spring. And this collaboration was my very first collab. I was new in this space. Sam was kind enough to do a collab with me. And I thought that it would be fun seven years later, y'all seven years later to do kind of like a revamped version not necessarily spring lip picks but today's video is all about just like our go-to lip combinations and i'm super excited to be doing this with sam we got to meet each other for the first time in december last year at the creators and friends holiday party creators and friends is a company that sam and simbri started together and i've been able to attend a couple of their events and i was super excited to meet sam in person just because we have had this long-standing social media friendship together we've kind of gone through different life changes together and I am happy to say that she is just as sweet and kind in person as she appears to be on the internet but you know one thing I've learned in this beauty space is these women that I have created friendships with Sam included are not just beautiful, but they are also so incredibly smart. So it was fun to meet Sam in person and to be able to hang out with her and spend some time together because not only is she beautiful, but she is extremely smart. She is a businesswoman. She has started from the ground up. She is an author. She also has by Samantha March. She has a podcast. She has her hand in a lot of different pots. And in order to do that, you have to be very business savvy. So she has a lot of knowledge there. And she's also really fun. Like she was just a good time. But it was funny to see her in action. I know that she mentions people think that she's in Vegas and she's partying all of the time. And I remember after the holiday party, we had this event at Gatsby's and Sam was out on the dance floor dancing the entire time. But then just all of a sudden she would snap into business mode. She was working on some stuff with creators and friends and our connection to Gatsby's. And it was just so cool to see her kind of turn on the business mode and have fun. And I just really enjoyed meeting her in person. So I reached out to her and asked if she wanted to recreate our seven-year-old collab. So thank you so much, Sam, for collaborating with me. I am so thankful for our long-standing friendship and that I actually finally got to meet you in person. If you're coming over from Samantha's channel, hello, welcome. My name is Kelly. I live in Texas. I am a teacher. I am a mom. And you know, I just kind of do this like beauty thing on the side. I think it's fun. I love makeup. I love talking. I love makeup. I love talking about makeup. So if you're into that kind of thing, if you're into chatty videos, talking about what's fun, talking about what we're into, things like that, just easy going, laid back. This is the place for you. But we are here for some lip combinations. So let's get started. If my lips look a little, a little red, I did swatching for you. I swatched everything that I am about to share with you because I wanted you to be able to see it in person. So my lips are a little not happy with me right now, but I do have a lot of things to share with you. I did pick 10 lip combinations and I feel like I wanted to do lip combinations instead of just lipsticks because when you pair a lip liner with a lipstick or a gloss, it kind of changes the whole vibe, right? It changes the whole combination of the lipstick. So I do have several lip liners that I will be sharing with you throughout this video. These lip liners are my favorites. They are my go-tos. But the fun thing about a lip liner is it not only defines your lips and creates some definition and gives you a guide for your lipstick, but the shade of lip liner and the color of lip liner that 
that you choose will ultimately change the lipstick and what the lipstick looks like on your lips. So I thought that it would be fun to pair these lip liners with different lipsticks. I also do have two products that aren't necessarily part of a lip combo that I wanted to share with you also. One being this product from Lawless. If you're not new to my channel, you know that I'm not a lip balm girl. Like I know lip oils and lip balms are all the rage. I have not jumped on that bandwagon. However, this Lawless Pink Marshmallow Stick tint, stick balm, whatever you want to call it, has been an absolute go-to for me. It's very hydrating on the lips, but it definitely gives me like a glossy lip effect. I find that this is a go-to for me just on like day to day. When I'm not wearing makeup, if I'm wearing makeup, it works with everything. It's very comfortable, it's very hydrating, and it has been a go-to, so I wanted to include that in here as well. I also am not a huge lip gloss person, but I did find that there is one brand of lip gloss when I'm looking for a gloss. It is my go-to, and it is the Lawless Forget the Filler. I also am just now, in real time, realizing that these are both Lawless products. I did not plan that. I. It just so happened. I really enjoy their balm and I also really enjoy their gloss. Their gloss is very hydrating. It gives me a glossy, plump look. It has a little bit of a cooling effect, not stinging, not burning, a little bit of a cooling effect. So right now I have it on and it feels super hydrating because I just did a ton of swatches. So it's like a nice cooling effect to the lips. I just really love it. I have this shade right here in Rosy Outlook. I also have a lavender shade. I got this mini in like a set and then I lost it. I couldn't find it and so I went out and repurchased the full size but then I found my mini so I'm using my mini to use it up but I love this. This is my go-to lip gloss. I like it because it's shiny but there aren't like any chunks of glitter. It's not uncomfortable on the lips. It's just it's a go-to. So I wanted to point those two lip products out to you as favorites of mine, but let's go ahead and jump into the lip combinations here. I'm not gonna go in any particular order, but I will tell you that the first, that is a go-to for me. This is like my day-to-day, -day, when I'm teaching, when I'm going to work, or if I just am quickly trying to grab something and get out the door, my go-to lip combination is Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude mixed with MAC Cosmetics blankety. This has been a go-to for me for a while. My Charlotte Tilbury, you can see how tiny this lip liner is. Like, it is itty bitty, right? But this is like the perfect go-to nude shade for me. I can pair this with any lipstick, but I find that when I mix it with MAC Blankety, I get this very nice, almost cool toned type of pink. I really enjoyed the MAC formula. Blankety is an amplified lipstick. It is a little bit more on the cool toned side. And so with these paired together, it's just the perfect lip combination for my skin tone, for my hair color. It looks really nice on me. And I feel like the MAC lipsticks are just easy to apply. Like if I don't have a mirror, I can just slap it on the lips and I'm good to go. So this is definitely probably my most worn lip combination. I am into an ombre lip. I love an ombre nude lip. I like a very like defined lip line, but then kind of blending a lighter color into it. So one lip combo that I go to when I'm looking for like that nude combination is the Makeup Forever Endless Cacao. This is like an eye and lip pencil. I use it on the lips, but it is this deeper, rich brown shade. And then I will go in with my Kim KW from Charlotte Tilbury, which is a very, very light, kind of like a peachy nude, I would say, but it's very light. So when I take the deeper lip liner, the Endless Cacao, and I line my lips and fill in the sides a little bit, then I will take the Kim KW and I will kind of tap it on the lips first so that I don't get too much pigment. I'll swipe it on if I feel like I need a little bit more, and then I'll take my finger and kind of tap it out. And it just gives me this nice neutral ombre lip. I get a lot of compliments when I wear it. If I have like a really bold eye or a colorful eye look and I'm looking for a nude that will kind of mesh everything together, this is the lip combo that I'll reach for. Next up is what I have on my lips right now. I did put a little bit of the lip gloss on top, but I still am very much into liquid lipsticks. And I like this mauve type of vibe where it's not a bright red, but it's not a nude. This is a little bit of a deeper shade. I like to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in Raisin, which is almost kind of like, 
a mulberry shade or like a rich wine shade with a purple undertone but I like to take this lip liner you can see it swatched right here and I will go over it with the Give Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Flannel, and that is this beautiful, beautiful shade here. I'm, I really enjoy this lip combination if I have a more simple eye. This is a little bit of a bolder look on me since I do have fair skin. I, I find that it looks nice when it's paired with more of like a natural look. I do have a pop of purple on the lower lash line today, but I feel like this is just a fun color because it is a liquid lipstick. It is super long wearing. It, it doesn't fade off of my lips in an awkward manner where if I'm eating or drinking all of a sudden I have these splotches. It's just really really nice and again if you pair a gloss on top of it you get this shiny effect and I just enjoy it when I want a little bit more of like a bold statement lip. Speaking of a bold lip, there are two other bold lips that I want to share with you. One is like my traditional classic red. I don't wear red a ton. Being a natural redhead, I'm very specific about my reds. I only like my reds to be a certain shade, to have a certain look on me. Otherwise, I feel like it takes over too much. So my go-to when I am in the mood for a red is going in with my same ABH lip liner. This is what I have on in the swatch is my ABH lip liner, but sometimes depending on the vibe I'm going for, I will also use my Endless Cacao. But taking this and lining my lips and my favorite red of the moment, and I've worn it in family photos for the last two years, is again by Give Beauty. And this is the original recipe, original me, the matte lipstick. I like a red to be matte. I don't want it to be glossy. I find that it kind of transfers easily. I want my red to be matte. I want it to stay in place. I find that the original recipe, it's super pigmented and it's more of a, a traditional red. Not too blue based, not too orange based. It's just a happy medium, like a traditional red shade. It doesn't move around the lips. It sticks to my lips. It stays put and it doesn't travel. And like, what more could I ask for? with a lip combination. This next lip combo surprised me because I just got done telling you I'm very particular with my reds. I want them to be a certain type of red. I never want it to be orange because I feel like orange makes my hair look more orange. And then I was introduced to this combination. So first, the lip liner that I used for this lip combo is by BK Beauty and it is Warm Spice. I like the Warm Spice lip liner because it is very creamy. It's more of a warm toned brown, whereas you can see here some of these are cooler and more neutral toned. It is a warm toned brown, but it's very, very creamy. This one doesn't have a sharp point, just the nature of it. It's a little bit more rounded, so you're not going to get a super defined line, but it's easy to fill in, and I love to pair this with the BK Beauty Empower shade. This is an orange. Y'all, I thought I was going to declutter this. When it was gifted to me on the Creators and Friends trip in Charleston, I was like, there's no way I'm wearing this. It's a bright orange. I'm not gonna like this shade. I was gonna give it to my college roommate because she loves orange. It's her favorite color. I thought, you know what? This is a brandy shade. This isn't a Kelly shade. And then I wore it and I've been wearing it. And I love to pair it again with a deeper lip liner like the BK Beauty Warm Spice. And just something about it makes me happy. It brings life to the face. I like to do a very nude eye look, get this bold statement lip, and I just love it. I love it, and I don't even mind that it's an orange. I don't feel like it clashes with my hair, and it's just been a go-to statement lip for me. The next several lip combos I feel like are going to be, I just touched my red lip, are going to be like my go-tos. I love a pinky nude. I love a pinky nude. They are my jam. First up is from Natasha Denona. This is a pair that comes together. This was from her My Dream collection. So I have the Natasha Denona lip crayon in Natasha, which is very, very creamy. And it is much more of like almost a neutral moth, I would say. Definitely a creamy lip liner. I do enjoy this one, but it is on the creamier side. And then her lipstick the My Dream Lipstick. Yeah, it's called the My Dream Lipstick in the shade Natasha. There is something so special about this lipstick because it has a sheen to it. So I will go in with the lip liner and the matching lipstick and it looks like there's a gloss on my lips, but there's not. Like I'm not wearing gloss. It's so glossy. It's so shiny. It makes my lips look nice and juicy and plump. The one con I will say with this lipstick, I don't know if you can see, since it is so creamy, you have to be careful. 
I live in Texas. It's hot here. It melts a little bit. Mine is to the point where it's scraping up against the sides. I have to be careful when I'm applying it because if I push it up too much, it could, you know, fall over and break. It's just super duper creamy, but it's a go-to for me. I love this combination. I love it for an everyday. It doesn't matter what I look I'm wearing. It, it just, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful and I love it so much. Moving on, similar vibes. I have the Lunar Beauty. This is the Milk Tea Lip Liner. Manny released these last year. I think it was new. And so this is the Milk Tea. It's more of a deeper warm type of shade. So it's still it's not maybe quite as warm as Warm Spice and it is a little bit deeper, but it is still warm. And when I pair that with. This is the Lunar Beauty Laura Lee collaboration, the Fool Fantasy collab. This is the shade Lanny. It was the more pinky toned one. I don't really like a peachy nude. I like more of a pinky nude, which is why I went with Lanny. But when I pair it with the lip liner from Lunar Beauty and this beautiful shade right here, I just love it. I love it. It's a go-to. It's creamy. It's hydrating. It makes my lips look good. And again, it goes with every eye look. Also in that same family, pinky nude, but going with an ombre vibe, I have my Juvia's Place lip liner in So Rare. This is similar to the shape of the one from BK Beauty where you can't sharpen it. It's a twist up. It is very creamy. It again is a deeper warm toned shade, but it glides on nicely. And I like to pair that, y'all, this is bougie. This is so bougie with my Tom Ford. This is my Tom Ford blush nude. This is a very light pinky nude. You'll see it here in the swatch. It is a very light pinky nude shade. I like to pair it with that more warm toned brown and it just, <laughs> I'm just realizing this top combination and this bottom combination look the same. So this one is the Lunar Beauty and Lanny lipstick and then this one is So Rare and Blush Nude. So you can see I have a type. You can see I have a type. This lipstick is bougie. The top one is limited edition, so take your pick, but I love the lip combo. That was bougie, so I feel like it's only fitting that we then go in with an affordable option. So an affordable combination that I love is this ColourPop Beeper Lip Liner, which I know Samantha has loved and raved about, and Beeper has been her jam for a long time. So I was inspired by her to get this beautiful Beeper shade right here, which I absolutely love. Super creamy, comfortable on the lips. And then I like to pair it with the ColourPop Lippy Stick in O oh Snap. This is a matte formula, which when I tried it for the first time, I remember it surprised me because I expected it to be a little bit more glossy. But this is like a beautiful, like mauve nude shade. It wears comfortably on the lips. It's affordable. You can find it at Ulta. And I like that the Beeper lip liner is a little bit deeper than O Snap. Not too deep. It's not going to quite create like an ombre lip, but it is a little bit deeper. So I just it feel, I feel like it gives my lips more definition and fills them in. And I love it. Last but certainly not least was definitely very inspired by Sam because these are two of her favorites and I purchased them on her recommendation and it's like my my lips but better type of shade. So of course, I am talking about the iconic nude from Charlotte Tilbury. Got this on Sam's recommendation, love it. Will definitely be repurchasing it when I use it up completely. And the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Very Victoria. Sam has talked about Very Victoria for so long and I finally picked it up and it is like my perfect my lips but better shade. It's a little bit deeper than my lip tone, but I find that I can wear this with any eye look. I can wear it if I'm going out. I can wear it on a day to day. It's very long lasting, especially for a bullet lipstick. It wears on the lips so well when paired with Iconic Nude, and it has been a staple for me. I don't know why it took me so long to bite the bullet and pick this up, but I absolutely love it. I love the Charlotte Tilbury formula. I love the long wear of it. I love the comfort of it. I love the way that it looks, and it's a favorite. Okay, but that is it, friends. I am covered in swatches. My lips are covered <laughs> in swatches, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. These are just my 10, my 10 lip picks. I want to give a huge thank you and shout out to my beautiful friend, Samantha March, if for some reason you're not following her, although I'm sure that you are. I will, of course, have her video and her channel linked down below. Thank you so much, Sam, for collaborating with me on my first collab seven years ago and recreating our lip combos today. I am excited to see Sam's picks because there may be 
some similarities here. I know we have similar color vibes, similar color stories that we love. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed before you go because I would love to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.